It's been a while since we did the video on the Explorer. Welcome to another video. I'm just gonna jump into the story, okay? So, for those of you who watched videos of this Explorer of 2020, and you're still watching videos up until now, some of you may know that I had the transmission rebuilt in this Ford Explorer at 173,000 miles. And this was in October of 2020 because I had problems with second gear going to third and eventually it became so so bad to the point where it would shift real hard and I had to come home all the way home in fourth gear I should say or five gear and my reverse gear wouldn't work so I had spoke to a guy named Donnie and this was in October 2020 we both agreed it's better to just had the transmission rebuilt because I didn't want to put a used 5R55S slash W trans in this truck had the same issues because this transmission is notorious for having issues for this model Ford Explorer. Here it is, September of 2021, and I've been having trouble with my torque converter not engaging, or I should say not locking up and previous videos i want to say in the month of july i probably said final drive gear or whatever not locking up so i contact the trans shop and the guy name was donnie again donnie i spoke to donnie we pulled the codes he said oh well your dpf sensor is what's causing your transmission or your torque converter to not shift I don't believe that. And for those of you who work on your cars, you can probably relate and say that that's a bunch of bull crap. That's not going to cause your torque converter to not lock up. So I replaced it that made a video of it just for the hell of it, for some content. So I hit up the trans shop again. I drive up there. Now, I remind you, I started having problems with my torque converter not locking up at the end of June. So here it is, July. I had my uh, DPS sensor replaced. I go up to the trans shop and this time Donnie wasn't there. It was a guy named Keith and I think he's part owner of the trans shop too. So I talked to Keith. He scans it and these are the codes I get and I'm going to pull them up for you. So I got two Atchison sensors that need to be replaced and I got a code for torque, torque converter stuck off, which is why it's not engaging. Again, this is the month of July of 2021. It is not September of 2021. I've been going back and forth with them and they've been telling me they can't get me in to get my truck serviced because they are full of customers and they're so busy that my truck will be sitting up there for a month or so. Each time I call, he tell me, call Thursday of next week. I don't have nothing available right now, which is what I did. So I did that. I played it week by week. It went through July. It went through the month of August. Here it is, September. Now, my warranty expires next month, the month of October. And I also have 4,000 miles before I go over my mileage before my warranty expires. Let me show you the receipt. This is how much I paid, and that's the date where my transmission was rebuilt, or I should say the paperwork that I signed stating that this is what I paid to have my transmission rebuilt. This is all what they replace. As you can see, I'm not going to read it out. Spoke to Keith last week. I want to say Friday. I spoke to him and he gave me this story that someone had quit and that they only have one guy that's able to do all the trans work. And his words were, it's still drivable. 
I wouldn't worry about it. Long as it's still drivable, it was getting you from point A to point B. Well, I understand that it's still drivable, but you got to hear me out on this. If someone spends $2,300 to have a trans rebuilt and for the sake of having a warranty, you will want your stuff to be A1. You will want your stuff to be working properly. And while it's under warranty, something go wrong, you have it replaced. So we had the conversation and he say, call him back next Thursday, which is today. And remind you, this is September. We are in the month of September now. And I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him on my work phone because I am filming with my smartphone. So before you roast me in the comments about my work phone, yes, it's an old flip phone that I use at work. Remind you, I'm recording with my smartphone. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I kind of feel like they trying to push me back just because it's under warranty and they trying to push me back far enough to where my warranty expires so that they don't have to do the free work and that I would have to pay them. So let's go ahead. We're going to get them on the phone and I'm going to let you guys listen in on this conversation. Hey, is this Donnie or Keith? It's Keith. Oh, hey, Keith. About the White Explorer I, uh, was the one that called last week, and we've been trying to get it in there, but it's got so many cars there. I was just wondering, how is it looking uh, today? Oh, today, it's no good. It's almost over, and we don't have any hoist. Don't have any hoist? I've been doing battle with this gal, and I never know when it's going to take me out, so... Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been crippled with it. So, um, I don't know. Let's just try for next week, I guess, the best I can tell you. Next week? Yeah. So I had a question because uh, my warranty is getting ready to expire next month. You think it's possible I can get in there before it expires? Or... Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to get you before that happens. Okay, okay. Because I ain't yeah. wanted to expire on me and then all of a sudden the work can't be done because, you know, the warranty's Yeah, no problem. So, I'm, uh, what happened to Donnie? Well, he's here today. Oh, he's there? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so next week, what day are you looking for me to call? Well, you check with me Tuesday. Tuesday? Uh-huh, yeah. All right, I'll try again Tuesday. Okay, you got it. All right, thanks. All right, bye. Uh -huh. Okay, so you heard the conversation, and this is today's Thursday, and he said we had to try again next week. Today is September 2nd, 2021, and I've been trying to get this truck in that transmission shop since end of June. Now, you heard what he said. He said, we're going to try to get me in there next week or get me in there before my warranty expires. This is all caught on camera. You guys are my witnesses. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to this channel. I got more to come. See you soon.